Deus be trusted. What is going on everyone? Phil here and welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. This is going to be an interesting one ladies and gents because first of all, it's Burger King. Haven't been to Burger King in a while. Uh, they haven't really had a lot of new stuff recently. And some of the stuff that they've had that was new really wasn't new. What I mean is that they would reconfigure a offering that they had in a different way. Um, today we're doing something pretty unique. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're about to try is something that I've been seeing ads on TV for and I was like, wow, they're really going to do that at like a regular fast food place? And yes, they're doing it. This is the Farmhouse King Burger. You might say King Burger, well that means it's their big double patty burger. Uh, you know, they have different variations like the regular Big King, the Bacon Big King. They've had other variations with mushrooms and barbecue and all kinds of different stuff, right? The reason this one is different and the reason they call it Farmhouse is because it has a fried egg on it, okay? I have never been to a standard fast food burger joint like Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or Jack in the Box, for example, and gotten a burger with an egg on it. They never offered it, right? Now, I know there's other places, for example, Red Robin. That's a sit-down restaurant where you can get liquor and you can get more gourmet-style burgers. They do uh, a burger with an egg on it. And I have seen at other places like pubs and stuff that do gourmet burgers that they do this. But I have never in my life seen it at a regular fast food restaurant. And I'm like, I wonder how they're going to pull this off. Is it going to be good? Is it going to, you know, because you got to fry that egg nicely to go on there. Is it going to be runny? Is it going to be well cooked? How's this egg going to go? I don't know. We're about to find out. All right. First of all, it should be called out. It's very expensive. This burger was over $6 where I live in Washington State. It was like $6.30 or $6.40, something like that. That's a lot of money for one burger at a fast food place. I mean, most places, their gourmet burgers they offer for around, you know, their, their highest level offering, like McDonald's, Wendy's, they're all around five bucks. So for this one to be six something for just the sandwich is really expensive. And the combo I think is like $8.99 or something like that around here. So right off the bat, Price point is very high, but the question is, will the burger itself be good enough to warrant that price point? That's what we're gonna find out today, okay? What does it come with? I don't really know. I think it has those onions, the breaded fried onions, but I don't know what else it has. We're gonna find out firsthand here today. Okay, so here it is. F4 Farmhouse, obviously. Let's unwrap it. Now, as you know, these big King burgers, these King style burgers are really big. They're basically, the size of a double Whopper, if not even slightly bigger than that, okay? Well, it has bacon, I didn't even know that. I had no idea this burger had bacon. You see melty cheese hanging off the edge there. Let's take a look at the top of it. Wow, it's got some kind of a special sauce. I have no idea what that sauce is. It's got what I think are supposed to be little fried onion pieces, but there's not many of them. I also smell ketchup, that must be what the red is. So the red must be ketchup plus some other kind of sauce mixed in with these onion pieces. And then you've got your fried egg. And quite honestly, folks, if you take a look at that, doesn't that fried egg look like it was made in one of those things that you fry it on? You know what I mean? Like they, was, they dropped the egg into a shape so that it would be perfect for the burger rather than just let it go. Because if you just try to fry a regular egg, it doesn't cook like that. It spreads out, it doesn't look like that at all. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it's got bacon, but it looks to me like they stacked all the bacon. Actually, is this the only, wait a minute. Is this the only piece of bacon? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Underneath, I can see off the edge here, there must be another piece of bacon peeking out. Yes, there's a second piece of bacon under the egg. See that? Couldn't even see it, I was like, huh? <laughs> So let's reposition the bacon, first of all, so that it fits properly. Then you've got your two giant beef, grill, flame grilled beef patties, by the way. Burger King always does the flame grill. They do not fry their burgers, which is nice because number one, you get a char taste to it that you don't get at other places. And number two, because it is, it is as, as funny as it is to say this, it's better for you. All right, technically on paper, if you look at a fried burger versus a flame grilled burger, yeah, the flame grilled burger will have less fat calories and everything, it's still bad for you. Don't let the, <laughs> this is the health food of burgers. It, that, that doesn't exist, okay? And by the way, thank God I didn't eat any red meat this week. Seriously, like the, yesterday I had a salad and a soup. The day before I had chicken sausages. Thank God, because this is a lot of red meat, these Big King burgers. So the Farmhouse King, I don't think there's anything on the bottom. And by the way, look, some of the sauce and everything is just dripping off the side here. 
I'm pretty sure the bottom is just meat. I am correct, but look at that nice flame grilled meat, right? Okay, so I've never had a burger with egg on it before. Never in my life have I ever, ha ever had a burger that had egg on it. So I'm gonna try to do is position it so that when I bite, I get both the egg and the meat in the bite, which is gonna be kind of weird because look, they lopsided it here. They really did, they lopsided the burger and they put the egg not in the center. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting to try to do it one hand too because this burger is giant. All right, oh boy. Um. All right, I'm gonna attempt to bite this fucker. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'll bite right, right here if I can. Hmm. Put down pressure on you, it's so big. Well, I tested the, the flame grilled beef is good. I like the beef at Burger King. The char flavor is extra good. I tasted the sauce. The sauce tastes tangy. I think the reason is because it's a combination of whatever the, is is the, the sauce plus the ketchup makes it have a tangy taste to it. That's interesting, but I'm gonna be honest here. I did get the egg. I didn't taste it whatsoever. I did not taste a tiny bit of egg. Let me take another bite. Okay, well, the sauce is like almost overpowering, what I mean by that. I taste a lot of tang from the, the, the probably the vinegar in the ketchup and I'm tasting sweetness. So I think the sauce is actually supposed to be like a sweeter sauce for the burger. Um, it's not bad, like the flavor of that sauce with this burger's meat is really good. But again, honestly, I seriously, I didn't taste the bacon and I didn't taste the egg because I think it's too overpowering to have these other ingredients here. Keep in mind, the Bacon King has tons of bacon on it. The Bacon King version of the Big King has like four or five slices of bacon on it, probably so that you can actually taste it with the tremendous amount of beef that you're getting on the burger. Here, I'm really not getting that. What I'm gonna do, let me try something here. Cause take a look. Here's what happened. I knew this was gonna happen. The egg has completely lopsided off the top of the burger because they didn't center it when they put it down on top of the burger. So I'm actually gonna try to lift the egg up and scoot it over. Okay, so if I take a couple more bites, hopefully I'll get more egg flavor because I'm not tasting yet. I seriously cannot taste it whatsoever. Nothing, okay? All right, I'm gonna try again. <sighs> All right, reposition it. Here we go. Mmm. Well, in that bite, I tasted more cheese. It was definitely a more cheesy bite. And I also tasted more of the sauce. You know what the sauce reminds me of? If you used to eat at Burger King a while ago, I think 10 years ago, okay? They used to do Burger King stackers. They used to do double, triple, and they even did a quad stacker, where basically all they would do is take a burger, you know, Burger King burger, stack it one on top of the other, like a double, triple, or quad, and they would have a lot of cheese, a ton of cheese, and then they would give you uh, this stacker sauce, which kind of was almost like Thousand Island dressing, but it wasn't, it was like more tangy, and it just had something to it. I don't know if it was, you know, ketchup mixed with something else, a sweeter sauce, but it was good. I actually really liked the sauce. I liked the sauce better than the burger. I would get like a double stacker just to taste the sauce. Um, that's kind of what this sauce is tasting like on this burger. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it almost feels like a throwback to those stacker sandwiches they used to do. So, yeah. Um, is it good? Yes. I would say the taste, the flavor of the sauce with the beef is good. The cheese was good. The problem I'm having is the, the star of this sandwich, the star of this burger, this $6 burger, is supposed to be the egg, right? I mean, let's face it, you're paying over $6, and the one thing that's different that gives this burger its identity as the farmhouse burger is that it has an egg from the farm. 
right? The chicken on the farm laid the egg and you put it on the burger. The problem is I don't taste it. Honestly, I think there's two reasons why it doesn't really come out in the burger. Number one, because it's one egg that they, that they put on it and they put it on the top of the burger. And I actually said this uh, on, a, on a recent episode of DSP Tries It, when you're eating a big sandwich like this, you need to stack it in an order that what you want to be the most flavorful or the thing that stands out has to be hit your tongue. In this case, you got beef, cheese, sauce, all that stuff, and the egg on top. By the time you get to the egg, you probably can't even taste it because your taste buds have already been inundated with everything else. If they really wanted this burger to taste like egg, they needed to put the egg on the bottom of the sandwich and then maybe it would have had and honestly you know what it probably would have worked better because there's nothing on the bottom it's just bread and meat right that's number one number two the egg is overcooked now not to say that that's not how you want it because if you have a runny egg you have a chance that you could get you know d disease you know having an undercooked egg but if you had a, a, a egg that was not totally cooked as through as this is it would have more flavor to it the more you cook an egg the less flavor it has so that's another thing that they overcook the eggs, probably because they don't want someone coming in as, oh, I got freaking, you know, what is it that you get from an, un an uncooked egg, salmonella or something? I'm not sure. But they don't want someone coming in and saying that, right? We're trying to sue them. So, yeah, that's kind of the deal here. I really don't taste the egg. The burger itself tastes good. I like it. But I'm disappointed that the egg isn't the star of the burger when that's the name of the thing is the farmhouse and I can't taste the thing that came from the farmhouse, all right? I'm going to take one more bite. And then I'm gonna give you my verdict. This thing is so, it's so huge. It's hard to even hold with one hand, it's so huge. Damn. Mm. Like I said, for me, the star of this burger is the sauce. Because that's really the only thing I can taste in addition to the cheese and the meat. I can't discern the flavors of the egg nor the bacon. And thank God the sauce is good. All right? Because the sauce wasn't good, then the whole thing would be ruined. But do you really want to spend over $6 at a Burger King to get a burger just to taste sauce and have an egg that's flavorless? You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't. And even though I actually enjoy this burger, I probably wouldn't get it again only because it's so expensive. You know, I'm expecting premium quality when I spend this much money for a burger. When, you know, especially because you can go, like I said, Red Robin, you can go to Red Robin right now and for under $10, you can get a whole combo for lunch. You can get a burger, fries, drink, and endless fries, by the way. They'll, they'll unlimitedly refill your fries for you. Um, so for me, it's, oh, eight, eight and change, $9 for a combo for this burger that I can't taste the egg, that's a disappointment for me. So for me, I'm gonna give the Farmhouse Burger a 2.5 out of five. It's just kinda eh. It's not great, it's not a step above the other Big King burgers they have. It has less bacon than the other Big King burger that has bacon. You can't really taste the bacon on this. The egg is, you can't taste it. All you're tasting is cheese, meat, and sauce. And for me, that's far too expensive. It's not bad, it's not bad quality food, right? It's not that, it's not gonna fill you, it's huge, but for the most expensive Big King on the menu, I'm expecting more and they did not live up to my expectations. That's it for GSP Tries It, folks. I hope you liked this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.